This video will cover continuous two-position motion using the command table. In the project tree, open the command table. Since motion will be continuous, a way to stop it is needed. Under conditions, we're looking for if mast x4 input value equal then. Since x4 is the input, the x4 bit mask and the x4 compare value are both set to 0002. Next, the true and false conditions need to be set up so that when the condition is false, the motion will stop. In the category most commonly used, no operation is selected as the false condition. To start the motion, the VAI go to position command is used. In this example, the target position has been changed to 150 millimeters, and the rest of the settings are kept as the default. To create the loop, make sure the auto execute next command box is checked. The condition wait until motion finished is used to allow the standstill to start at the end of the stroke. A 20 millisecond dwell is inserted before the motor retracts. To get the motor to retract, the VAI go to position command is used again, but this time the target position is set to zero. The retraction follows the same format as before, using the conditions wait until motion finished and a 20 millisecond wait time. In the final line of the sequence, the auto-execute box needs to be checked and the sequenced entry ID needs to be changed to 1 to close the loop. The sequence now needs to be downloaded to the drive. As that completed, now go back to the control panel and then restart the firmware. Now that the firmware is started, the motor can be enabled and homing can begin. In the motion command interface, under the most commonly used category, select start command table command and change the command table entry ID to 1. Be sure to enable manual override and the auto increment count nibble. Remember that our input, x4.6, needs to be true for the motion to start. Then resend the command. To stop the motion, x4.6 needs to be toggled off. Thank you for watching Linmot Tutorials.